Hi there, Neil Clark of Falkirk Piping, www.falkirkpiping.com and on Facebook as Falkirk Piping and Glen Bervy Folk Duo. This is lesson 5 in our How to Play the Bagpipe series. Just to recap, what we did in lesson 4 was the D grace note scale and the E grace note scale. <laughs> Please uh, pause the video and just recap what we've done before we move on to this lesson. That should be the fingers warmed up and uh, let's have a look at what we hope to achieve by the end of this lesson. Now, that probably sounds incredibly complicated at first, but we'll split things up and we'll start with the easiest uh, movement first, which is the G, D and E grace note to low G. This movement is also sometimes called a triplet, so that's a T-R-I-P-L-E-T. That's because there's three movements contained uh, within the same embellishment if you like. Um, <clears throat> sometimes you will find that the, the G, D and E grace notes aren't in fact all contained on the same notes, but you'll encounter that as, uh, as you move along. Uh, for this purpose we're going to be playing all the embellishments on the same note. Now it must be in that sequence, that is to say a G grace note to low G, a D grace note to low G, and finally, an E grace note to low G. The movement is finished when we hit low G for the third time. Each embellishment is performed with the single finger, just like all other embellishments. G, D, and E. So, let's have a look at the first embellishment. Now, please practice it at no more than that speed at first. That's G to G, D to G, and E to G. Each grace note should be the same, no matter how slow. It should be completely even and consistent. <laughs> Please pause the video and practice your G, D and E grace notes to low G. What we're going to do now is think about moving up the scale. Now our method of moving up the scale doesn't change from the G grace note, the D grace note or the single E grace note. As a matter of fact, if you think about what you did in the E grace note scale, your E grace note is going to be the final grace note on the thymol note and you will move on in exactly the same fashion except for instance moving from low G to low A it will be the G finger that comes back up then the A finger then we just follow the same sequence G, D and E let's have a look at that Please pause the video and try the G, D and E movement on both the low G and the low A. I hope that went okay. Please remember what we want in that, uh, these two movements is... A 
a note, the thermal note coming up first, that's what to avoid. <laughs> Now, I had the option to strike that uh, high pitch squeak, but I thought I'd leave it in. Uh, we'll do the movement again, but that's just to show you that chanters do make these squeaks and skirls. Please don't worry about it. You're not really doing anything wrong uh, if that happens. So let's look, have a look at uh, what we are expecting again. <laughs> Thanks very much, Chanter. That's enough of that for today. Let's have a look at the full scale going up. Remember, once you finish the G, D and E movement, there's no time signature here. There's no requirement to have everything exactly in time. Go for correct form and correct finger work. Be comfortable before you move on to the next movement. as went all the way from low G, low D, G sorry, to C. Can't go any higher than C because the middle grace note in that sequence is D. That's as high as we can go. Let's have a look at that again and then I'll ask you to please pause the video and have a practice at going up the scale. <laughs> Pause the video now and practice moving up the scale with the G, D and E movement. This has managed to go up the scale, I hope you did okay there. And now all we're going to practice is coming back down. Now remember that you can cast your mind back to coming back down after performing an E grace note. Just remember that the first movement and the G, D and E must be the G grace note. So that's where you're going to before you move to the next themo note. We're going to do the G, D and E on C first and then move down from there. Show you that once more and then let's get you pausing the video and practicing it yourself. Please pause the video now and practice moving back down the scale from C with the G, D and E grace notes. So. We should now have went up the scale and back down and of course the natural progression is to move f up the scale and down the scale now. It doesn't have to be in the one breath, please don't forget, please take a breath at any time. Not though during the movement from one note to the other because you want to hear everything you're doing. So moving up and down the scale, G finger extended first. <laughs> remember you don't have to have your fingers extended as, as far as I'm doing it. That is purely for demonstration purposes. I want to make things nice and clear so that you can see what I'm doing with my fingers. Now, if you practice this movement, once you've established control, you will find that very quickly you will be able to perform that movement quite fast. Uh, what I would ask you to do is, yes, by all means play it fast, but please keep it controlled and with correct fingering. As soon as you lose control, then your playing is starting to deteriorate. So if you want to play... That's absolutely fine. But 
please make sure that each grace note is correct. As soon as a mistake begins to creep in, you have to slow down until you start getting it right again. There you are. There's that expression, slow it down. So, just to recap, what we're going to ask you to practice before lesson six, which is the next lesson, is this. <laughs> In lesson six, what we're going to look at are two more obscure grace notes. Uh, they are the high A and the low G grace note. Such a thing does exist. So the high A grace note performed with the thumb at the back and the low G grace note generally moving from a higher note through low G, also referred to as closing the chanter, I'll explain that in the next lesson, and up to low A. Let's have a look at what we've covered today again. Once more. Thank you for watching. I'm Neil Clark at Falkirk Piping, www.falkirkpiping.com and on Facebook under Falkirk Piping and Glen Bervey Folk Duo. Please don't hesitate to get in touch with us through either mediums if you've got any questions or indeed suggestions for this video series. Happy piping!